Lock. It can't be easy to discover that your cousin has descended into madness. But we can't let him kill these people simply because he's afraid they might have seen him. on your road always bear fruit thanks you saved us these beasts would have torn us to shreds these animals were strange as if they were enraged thanks again Renaixi. i'm glad i could help you and perhaps you can do me a favor in return i'm looking for a young man a Renaixi, but he looks a bit like an onol manawi someone like you in some ways but his marks are different darker He's talking about the crazy Don Egad. Indeed, that might be him. Do you know where to find him? No, we see him passing by around nightfall, but we don't know where he's going. He walks along the path, often followed by some beasts. He has a sinister look in his eyes. He scares me, so we stay hidden. And you do well to hide. I think he's the one who sent these animals to attack you. Do you have any idea how I could figure out where he's going? He could hide in the old house. He would see him passing by and could follow, couldn't he? You're right. If you take this path to the right, you'll reach an abandoned house. You can hide there. And from up there, you will be able to see the path perfectly. Thank you. You've been a great help. And stay hidden. You may still be in danger. Be prudent, Onol Manawi. I'll leave you alone. Kwa awalem seg.
We can't be seen from the path. Let's wait here to see where Constantine goes. I see him. And he's not alone. Constantine, what are you doing? Cousin! You're here! I, I... I would have preferred that you learn all of this another way. To be able to reveal everything to you in better circumstances. But whatever power we earn, there are some things that escape us. I have no idea what you're talking about, but what are you doing here? I seem monstrous to you. I am well aware of that. But I promise to explain everything when the moment is right. Then you will understand. You will see. The temptation is so great to share all with you right now. You have done so much for me. You have given me so much. I haven't forgotten, believe me. But I still have more to do. Forgive me and have patience. Hold them back. But do not kill him for anything in the world. Constantine, come back and explain yourself. The big guy saw this spoiled brat all the way. And now he's throwing beasts at us. He's gone mad. It's the only explanation. Move away. Things are about to get dicey. <laughs> Yeah! 
I don't understand. What he wants. Eternity. Strength. Power. It is what they all want. Those who take without looking beyond themselves. Like all those from the faraway lands. He wasn't like that. He couldn't care less about all that. Then it is the sickness. The brevity of his existence that terrified him to the point it changed who he is. You must stop him. Each time that he bonds, he destroys me a little more. And with me, the hope for a cure. And now it's my heart, my most Secret sanctuary that he covets. You must kill him. That is madness. The consequence of his folly, yes. Believe me, there is no other solution. Stop him, flesh of my earth, or there will be nothing left to save. I still can't believe this. I understand what you feel. I have trouble believing it myself. But Enon Mielfrichtum never lies. We need to stop your cousin by any means possible. We must learn more if we want to understand his plans and prepare against them. This hiding place he was talking about in his notes. We must find it. If in his folly he remembered just a small bit of what I taught him, then he shall warn his guard to be ready for us. We will need to be discreet. And find ourselves allies. You're thinking of all the creatures that he has perverted. A veritable army. Precisely. And against an army we will need soldiers. The natives will follow you because their god has ordered it. We might also be able to count on help from the Nort. We'll need to speak to their admiral. We should also be able to count on Sieglinde. Her troops will be all the more welcome. And of course, we can also go and find the Mother Cardinal, as well as Governor Burren. <sighs> what an absurd project. On the continent, they would brand us crazy, but not here. On an island where everything is possible, and all folly is accepted. Let us go. We need to put an end to all of this.
What brings you here on our Manawi? I came to ask for your help in stopping my cousin, Dunkus. Did you hear about the attacks of creatures led by strange guardians throughout the island? Yes, Darren sent a messenger to tell me about it. My cousin was sick, and to cure him, Katasach used the bonding ritual on him. But the power he received from it made him mad, and he started bonding himself in other places. He transformed his guardians each time, and used them to attack those he considers to be his rivals. What you're telling me is terrifying. Katasak and Evoshtire should never have bonded him. Your cousin is breaking the balance. He's consuming, and will only want to consume more. Indeed. Enon Miel Frichtemann warned me that Constantin was now targeting the sanctuary at the heart of the island. I cannot fight him alone. I need allies. I intend to go and find the other factions and ask for their support. But I also need your people. Because we must all stand together to stop the threat that is weighing on the island. Your will to create an alliance between all the peoples on this island is wise and noble. And the call of Enomil Frichtemann cannot remain unanswered. We will be by your side in the battle. I am not a fighter, but Dedra will lead our warriors. And I would also like for you to take this weapon. I pray it will be useful in the fight that is coming. Thank you, Dunkus. Don't thank me. You managed to earn my people's trust. And you fight for a cause that affects us all. May the Earth support each of your steps. And may the volcano give you its strength. I must admit that I expected Dunkus to be more angered when he learned what Constantine had done. He's a sage among sages. Even amongst the Donegada. Enon Mir speaks in his ear. I think he already knew what was happening, even before we came to see him. That confirms it. I made the right choice. Tiafredi couldn't have a better High King. Your Excellency, Lord Dusade, and to what do I owe this honor? 
I have come to solicit your help and to propose we forge an alliance. An alliance? Against whom? You remember, no doubt, the attacks that fell upon Hikmet, but also San Mateus, and against the natives. Of course. You told me that different Guardians sent the beasts. Precisely. And the Guardians were manipulated by someone. I discovered who it was. This revelation will not please you, but I have no choice but to tell you. It is Constantine. Surely you jest. What is the meaning of this? Do you know how many men have died during these attacks? Allow me to continue, I beg you. My cousin's sickness shook him to the core. Then, there was a ritual and his capture. And Constantine has fallen into madness. He has been increasing these rituals in order to link himself to the island, to gain power and manipulate its creatures. He is fighting a war against everyone, and it now appears he wants to take control of Tirfredi. He is preparing to attack the Volcano Sanctuary, and I need help to stop him. It is in the name of the Congregation that I come to see you. Constantine betrayed us as well. That's madness. It is complete madness. All of this superstitious nonsense. These absurd theories. I believed you sincere, Desarde. Which does not mean that I believe you now. But no matter. You are in need of men to stop your cousin who has already attacked us. Precisely. I have already gathered support, but I need as many allies as possible. I understand what you are saying, and a part of me wishes truly to lend you a hand, if only to exact vengeance for the losses we suffered. But I am not sure I can trust you with the lives of my few remaining men. How can I possibly convince you? Perhaps if you were to complete the tasks that I entrusted you with. Very well. I shall see what I can do. Do so, and we shall speak about this again. Would you like to speak with me about any other subjects? I have to go. Look forward to seeing you again. Farewell, my lord. Hello there. My name is Desarde. I'm the legate of the congregation. I was informed that your caravan was looted and that you were the sole survivor of the attack. It's true, Your Excellency. It was awful. All those deaths. The violence. We followed the recommended precautions to the letter, but it was useless. How did the attack happen? We traveled all day. We were exhausted, and night was approaching. We knew we were not very far from the outpost, but we couldn't go any further. So we camped away from the road, trying to stay out of sight. Alas, it was in vain. That's when they struck, in the middle of the night. Were there several attackers? I counted five. Maybe six. But others were hiding in the woods. I'm sure of it. If they only had their usual stone weapons, we may have hoped to escape them. But their weapons were inflamed. I have never been so scared in my life. What were you transporting? Mostly food. But also herbs and other ingredients for scientists. Did the attackers take it? Everything was a blur. I don't know if they intended to steal or destroy it. Unfortunately, my companions died while trying to protect our cargo. Are you saying that the looters started by attacking your cargo? Yes, Your Excellency. Maybe more of us would have survived if we'd all fled. You mentioned recommended precautions. Yes. Since attacks occur often, we were given a number of precautions to avoid them. Do not travel at certain times, do not camp near the road, do not light any fires. All of it was useless. It would have been better to recruit guards to escort us. Hmm. Based on what you're saying, the attacks were very targeted. They must have a camp near the outpost to monitor the road. But what is their goal? Why attack all the caravans along this route? They must want to cut off the supply lines to Hikmet. We'll go to the scene of the attack. 
I might find something there to help track these rebels. caravan was some distance from the road when it was attacked. Here we are. Stay alert. The food has been destroyed. They clearly don't need it, which means that their camp should be close by. They must have died protecting their goods. How sad. These wounds appear to be caused by stone blades, the kind of weapons that islanders use. The crates are empty. Their entire contents have been destroyed. These goods were not meant to reach their destination. They acted quickly, methodically, and then left. But where are the bodies? Let's look around. Why was this man's body arranged? There's something in his pocket. He was in the caravan, but whoever attacked him decided to drag him here and feed him to the wild beasts. The Donea Ectragal do this as a sort of scare tactic. This is a message for other merchants. I'm 
This obstacle was deliberately placed here. I think we're on the right track. Their camp must be nearby. We must find a way to pass. <laughs> Finally, here's the camp of the rebel natives. The standing men call themselves Domnea ex Regal. Please, let's try and talk to them. I do not want to fight with my brothers without trying to reason with them first. Hello. Don't worry. I come in peace. I only wish to speak to your leader. I am the leader of this camp, Renaixe. And whom wait you be? My name is the Sade. I'm the legate of the merchant congregation. The congregation? Are those the Lugayet Blau? The yellow eyes? It's possible, yes. We live in the city south of the island. That's right. We hold no grudge against your people. Talk. I'm listening. I've come to speak to you about your attacks against all those who take the road to Hikmet. The Luyans only got what they deserve. They have captured many of our people. We must release them. That's the price of war. If you fight, you risk men being taken prisoner. I'm not talking about warriors, Renaixe, but villagers kidnapped in our villages. They mainly attack on all Menawe. Those carrying the mark of the bond like you. They capture them, and we never see them again. We don't know what they are doing to them, but we are going to release them. I see. But our merchants have no role in this. They are not warriors. So why kill them? They brought food and weapons back to our enemies. We could not let them pass. If your merchants had fled, we would not have pursued them. But they resisted, so they do it. The city of Loyans is no longer to receive food or weapons. Nothing. I share your anger against the Lions, and I also hope to find our captured brothers. But the Rinaixe also use floating houses to transport things. Your attacks were useless. Listen, if what you told me is true, I fully understand why you're fighting. I'm even ready to help you clear up these disappearances, as long as you spare our merchants. You no longer need to worry about it. That was our last attack. Our troops are ready. And soon we will make the Luyan pay for the harm it has brought upon us. What are you talking about? Soon, the Donea Exregal will march together, and we will free our brothers. Can you guarantee that our merchants will now be able to take this road without risking their lives? I always keep to my word. The time for small attacks is over. Now is the time of war. I'm afraid you're heading straight into a massacre. But since you promised me that our caravans will be spared, I have fulfilled my mission. Go in peace. We should prepare ourselves.
I hope I will not regret letting them go. They are so full of... Hello, Captain. Your Excellency, what can I do for you? I managed to trace the rebels who attacked the caravans. They will no longer be a problem. You eliminated them? No, that's not necessary. But you must know that this group is part of a much bigger army. An army that is ready to go to war against Hikmet. We have been at war with the rebels for a long time. They did not speak of skirmishes, but of a pitched battle. They want to free their imprisoned comrades and will stop at nothing to do so. This is terrible news. We must prepare the troops immediately. I'll send a message to Governor Buran. Thank you for warning us, Your Excellency. You've given us a chance to resist their assault. I know it's not much, but I hope you'll accept this as a token of gratitude. Thank you, Captain. Your Excellency, Lord de Sade, and to what do I owe this honor? I've taken care of your problem with the caravans. The merchant should now be able to reach Hikmet. Captain Rainhild has sent a message to that effect. You have done a great service for me, though there is something that bothers me. I was told that you met these savages and then let them go. They showed no mercy at all with your own merchants. The congregation is not in conflict with these natives, and has no wish to begin one. Ah, your famous neutrality. Well then, you have solved the problem, and I would be discourteous to deny it. My pleasure. I imagine the captain must have informed you of all that we learned. Indeed, and I am extremely worried. An attack of any significant magnitude would be a catastrophe for our city. We have the means to repel these savages. But it will not be without great losses. Perhaps there is another way. The natives have clearly expressed their wishes. The freedom of their brothers and sisters. I see where this is headed, but I fear that they were not honest with you. A few natives are being held in the prison of the coin guard, but a handful of warriors does not seem to justify an assault of such commitment. They were not speaking of just a few soldiers, but of kidnappings. The victims are only villagers. This is inexplicable. We have taken no villagers. Of course, we answer their attacks in kind. And at times, we have taken prisoners on the battlefield. But what use would we have for a few fishermen, hunters, and weavers? Might it be possible that these kidnappings have taken place without your consent? I doubt that. But of course, it is always possible that a few bandits might have stolen a shipment of arms. If that were the case, that would explain a great deal. Since you have been of such service to my people, and this grievous affair seems of great concern to you, would you be of a mind to lead the inquiry? Capture a few of these savages. Make it your mission to make them talk. We must understand what is going on before they attack. 
Very well. I shall get to the bottom of this affair, Your Excellency. Would you like to speak with me about any other subjects? I have returned in the hope that you might have changed your mind. I'm still waiting for you to earn my trust. I see. I shall do my best then. Would you like to speak with me about any other subjects? I have to go. Look forward to seeing you again. Farewell, my lord. <laughs>